instrument on this stage is audible to each of you in the audience. So we're going to take a few moments and have an extensive sound check so that I know that everybody is plugged in and turned on and all these notes come out. So I'd like to begin with the brass section. Is Malcolm's mic working? Malcolm McNabb, ladies and gentlemen. Sal <laughs> Marquez, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Tom Malone, ladies and gentlemen. A little more Tom Malone, please. <laughs> yeah, can you turn that tuba microphone up? Tom 
Pomerani percussion. This is the timpani first. Where is that squeak coming from? <laughs> One more time. Okay, focus. A little bit more on that. Okay. The is the uh, concert bass on that same circuit? Okay. Concert bass drum. Concert bass drum played with vibe mallet. Wonderful. Okay, the vibes. Hey, good. Okay, now the uh, snare drum, one and two. All right, and now Ruth Underwood playing the marimba. Ruth Underwood playing the bongos. Ruth Underwood playing the timbales. <laughs> and the temple blocks. <laughs> and the castanets. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now what's happening with Charles Owen? something wrong with Charlie's connection. <laughs> Can I get somebody to turn this thing on for me over here? Oh. Is this coming out? Is it loud enough? Yeah. Turn it up some more. That should do. <laughs> Back to Charlie Owens, ladies and gentlemen. Charlie Owens' wire is not doing well. Give it some more light. <laughs> They're going to have to scrutinize Charlie's wire. But meanwhile, let me tell you a little bit about what we're going to play this evening. The first thing that we're going to play, because we didn't get a chance to get together any program notes for the concert, is a piece called The New Brown Clouds. This piece is actually supposed to be the last thing we play because it's the last movement of the last piece that we play, which is called The Adventures of Gregory Peckery. But we're putting it at the front of the program for three reasons. One, because you never heard Gregory Peckery before. So you wouldn't look at the end. Is that Charlie? <laughs> Charlie. Oh yeah, the three reasons. <laughs> <laughs> 
Reason number one. What is that, Charlie again? Oh, okay. Reason number one, because you never heard Gregory Peckery before and you wouldn't miss it because this is not going to be at the end. Reason number two is, it's okay as an opener. And reason number three is, it's the first tune that we learned when we put this band together, so it's nostalgic. <laughs> so you get to hear it as the first thing we play. Also, worthy of note, are these interesting historical facts. One, this is the first job we've ever played with this band. So this is the world premiere of the Grand Wazoo at the Hollywood Bowl. Also, it's the first time that all members of the band have ever been together at the same time because we have a little trouble with rehearsals with 20 pieces. So it'll be a surprise for everybody.
Big Swifty. Oh, Thank you. 
piece is called Approximate, and uh, it's really a very simple piece. There's, there's only four parts that are dispensed among 20 musicians for this piece. There's one page that is for all instruments in C and F, including percussion. There's another page for all the instruments in E flat and B flat and elsewhere. And then there's a bass part and a drum set part, which combine the rhythms of the other two. The only thing that's indicated in the score is the approximate rhythm, well, the exact rhythm that's supposed to happen for most of the piece, and all the players get to choose their own pitches that they play. Whoa. So it randomizes a certain bit. <laughs> you know what I mean, don't you? Uh,
these next two hitchhikers. And it's dedicated to Calvin Schenkel, of all people. And it's, it's a fantasy based around two hitchhikers that Calvin picked up on his way to work one day that he didn't believe were actually in the car. We're probably here tonight. Oh, yes, and after the end of uh, Calvin, we go directly into another piece called Think It Over, which is a shuffle.
Okay, now, just like every big band, we have a medley. <laughs> the first item in the medley is a piece from a, the Jean-Luc Ponty album. Yeah! 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 The selection we're going to play is the opening part of the music for Low Budget Symphony Orchestra. The next part of the medley is the Dog Breath Variations. From the Uncle Meat album. And the last section of the medley is Uncle Meat itself. And the whole, and the whole medley, all in one lump, goes under the title of Low Budget Dog Meat. <laughs>
next event is a piece called The Adventures of Gregory Peccary. And this takes a little bit of explaining. I have a collection of projects that never got done. This is one of them. You're going to hear only part of Gregory Peccary because it's missing some dancers, a narrator, and a six-voice female chorus. Anyway, Charlie's here. Listen, you heard him that one time, didn't you? Anyway, Gregory Peccary is the story of a, a little pig, part of an endangered species called peccaries. And uh, Gregory is a copywriter for a place called Big Swifty and Associates Trendmongers. And he, Gregory is responsible for cranking off trends down at Big Swifty's. And Gregory's most famous trend to date was the invention of the calendar which makes it possible for all the secretaries in the steno pool to find out how old they are and thereby have birthday parties at the office. <laughs> all the people who didn't want to find out how old they were after Gregory invented the calendar ganged up on him one day after work and gave him a bad time during the third <laughs> movement. <laughs> As you'll soon find out in the adventures of Gregory Peggery. This goes out to Ben Barrett and Rita K. Butler. the calendar. <laughs> you have to imagine a chorus of lovely young ladies singing these words, Sunday, Saturday, Tuesday through Monday, Monday, do you? <laughs> we 
we really go for an intelligent text around here. <laughs> by a rage of hunchmen as he goes through the short forest. <laughs> this is the last tune, boys and girls.